Hi, now I will start from the beginning how to open the ArtCam 2018 software. Uh, there will be an uh, icon. Once you install the software, you can see in desktop some icon ArtCam desktop. You can double click it or you can see it here in the uh, in this uh, start menu also like uh, if you type art cam uh, art cam 2018 art cam 2018 that uh, you can just click here or op open here like that also you can open it okay or uh, you can uh, simply click it here also Di uh, directly you can click it and open okay you can then uh, once the menu the once the software is opened then we will see what we will once the software uh, is opened uh, then we can uh, we, we generally we have to create new model you can click the new model from here or you can come here as a file a new model from here also you can open or you have a co shortcut control and also so you can just click it easy once you start it easy method is there that you can click it here new model okay click the new model then it will ask for okay in new model what should be the size of the drawing area how much big drawing you want to draw how, what is the uh, drawing size you can give that much uh, for the drawing board you can take it as a drawing board that is the model space so what should be the length and width like the width and height of the model size the drawing board you can uh, you, you can take as the drawing board when where you are going to make the drawing so whatever the size you want you can change it here whatever if you want 100 100 you can change to 100 and height also you can change to 100 or 200 whatever you want you can do it and this resolution you can keep the maximum resolution what is available here it is already there you can keep the same and next the origin that is where in this drawing board where you want to uh, keep the origin point 0 0 uh, some people keep it left bottom corner some people can uh, keep it as the center it is depend upon your convenience what you want to draw also later when we want to take this drawing for manufacturing where you want the zero should be there so considering all these things we can make the drawing uh, center as the origin origin of the uh, drawing board we can decide where it is the origin of the model space so by just by clicking it will automatically change to all these four corners so most common is left bottom corner or the center okay then uh, you can decide what should be the units whether in mm and inches uh, mostly we use uh, in mm so if somebody is so convenient with inches they can later adopt but for the training purpose i am using mm okay then just give okay So you will give the drawing space, drawing area where you can draw and there is a lot of menu uh, command icons and uh, pull down menus and so many things are there. So I will be explaining one by one. So first what we have to see is that once we come into this area, the, the layout of these menus and the tool icons, command icon, uh, we have three options like uh, when you go to this window, there is a layout option is available you can see there is standard advanced and classic three layouts are available if you go for standard it will look like this see it's taking some time don't worry so the layout will be like this the tool total uh, tools and commands layout will look like this this is a standard format standard layout available if you are okay with working like this you can working all tools icon will be displayed here and the next one is uh, uh, known as advanced one advanced one also you can use uh, this kind of uh, layout will be available if you are convenient with that you can do that also if uh, the thing what we we are going to use is classic one 
so i will be training uh, you on this classic one layout format because in older versions of uh, artcam uh, this kind of layout is available so it will be very easy for you to interrelate uh, that if you are al already an user on old uh, artcam 9 or artcam 2008 version user for you people it will be very easy to understand uh, the layout of the uh, to picking up the tool no wherever the tool is there it is very important because it otherwise it will waste lot of time searching for the tool where it is so the, if you are already used to the previous versions or ma mainly old versions of artcam uh, it will be uh, easy for you people to use the classic version so i am uh, using the classic version because don't worry in all this layout all uh, commands are available no nothing will be missing out so it's all only our your convenience for that we are doing this okay so this is the thing so first we have to see that okay it is in our convenient layout then what we have to see is that uh, some uh, things we can uh, keep on and off like uh, in the view uh, what we see here the, you can keep this uh, see this is the origin when, whether we want to keep the origin you can keep or keep it on and off origin no keep it on and off it's your convenience somebody feel it is a disturbance so he, they can keep it off and you can also uh, show this is the this is the rulers so if you want to show the rulers you can choose the show the rulers if, if you off it it will not be there so the rulers you can keep okay and uh, one more thing uh, is that now this display is happening in 3d view okay you can have 3d view you can go to 2d view also this is the 2d view because in the latest software uh, 2018 and all uh, now you can uh, even draw in the 3d uh, and later you can you know bringing to the 2d view also 2d view also it's all uh, your convenience only whether you want to work with uh, 3d view or 2d view and uh, in 2d view it will look like this so okay so all the rulers will be in the border only but in 3d view it will be uh, just displayed in the boundary of the model space okay so we will go to the 2d view in the 2d view uh, what all uh, now uh, in 3d view just we have seen that the rulers on and off then we shown uh, the uh, this one origin on and off then one more thing is there there is a grid is there if you want the grid also you can keep it on and off in 2d view also it will look like this 3d view it will look like this so you can keep this grid on and off these options are available so one more thing is that uh, you can snap while, while you start drawing something so this grid and one more thing there is a snap option is there snapping snap option is available so if we you, you are switching on the snap option what happen is that when you draw something like if i am drawing a line see i can draw the line uh, i can click somewhere see now it's no it's is now it's taking yeah so automatically it is it will jump into the nearest grid you cannot uh, hold it in between any point so so exactly now we feel the grid uh, it will go to the grid correctly into the grid also so th that uh, that th that will be a um, what we call as the you no know, uh, helping uh, property where if you want to draw some straight line or like that this is uh, one more thing was there actually that is okay snap snap grid is there mm. so okay then you can also show the cursor information okay if you click here you can see the cursor information if i want to draw a line from 3 okay some like this grid value is you can see the grid value from here it is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 0 0.975 you go up in y direction it becomes no, four, four. So this is the grid value point zero zero five. It's the grid value. 
no this is 3 okay one number is the grid value 4 okay 3 4 the grid value 4 is the grid value if you just start drawing this then it will be easy for us see in now in 2 I am drawing then I can go to 6 if I want to draw from here now you can see this one is 36 so from 36 if you want to make a 10 mm then you can make to see the, the this is the negative side that why it is going showing negative okay so from here 36 you can make to another 10 mm means 26 so near 26 you just click so it will go to 26 so like that so you can uh, draw some 5 mm down means you can do after 5 mm you can make a clipping like that uh, this this will help you to make the drawing at the same way if you make uh, this view in view if you make this uh, snap uh, object also tick mark uh, if you am if you I, I untick this what will happen we will see if I start drawing some line now if there is a grid is there grid snap is there so automatically it will catch into the grid I will off the grid also snapping to the grid also I will off so what will happen is if I want to uh, connect or exactly touch this uh, point uh, end point of this it is not it is not easy I, I, I just focus here and just I click click somewhere but it will not again there will be some gap so it will not exactly snap into the end point of that if if you keep the option of file uh, snapping the snap option on snap objects option on then what happen is that if you want to draw a line exactly if I just click near to that automatically it go to the end of the line and then start drawing so, okay so that is uh, now from here exactly from the end it's coming see so that is if the snap is on then it will be easy for us to uh, catch the exact exact point of the uh, line uh, end point generally the snap is from the end point. I click it here takes the I click it here it's exactly uh, uh, touching the uh, line otherwise if you start uh, doing it will not when the snapping is coming then it will automatically snap uh, so automatically it will snap with the object otherwise uh, if you try it then uh, we will find that there is a gap between so the snapping object will be a helping option for you while drawing the objects vector objects so grid also a grid also grid snapping option also you can use if you want you can keep the grid on you can use that also otherwise you can keep it off uh, showing cursor option also if you want you can keep it on off then uh, for show origin also you can keep origin if you want on you can keep it on where is the origin yeah here the origin if you want to keep it on you can keep it on and uh, then uh, show rulers this is generally required it will be convenient for us to understand so this show origin and show rulers you can keep it on and the snap uh, in snap we can use the snap object okay snap grid and all if you want you can use it but uh, generally we can keep the uh, that off because we are not uh, generally not used with the grid um, you will be working with the objects so we will uh, keep the snap objects on and uh, these two on show origin and show rulers okay rest of the we will leave, uh, leave it as it is we will okay now uh, next we have to see that how to uh, go for uh, zooming and all zoom options like so generally the zooming here we will come in 2d view in 2d view we will see that you can uh, um, uh, this uh, using the mouse also you can do this by zooming in and zooming out the, the, the center bo uh, button in the mouse you can uh, uh, rotate forward and backward accordingly so wherever you keep this cursor there it will be get focused and enlarged if you keep here and that that area only will be getting enlarged okay so wherever you want to see bigger 
there you keep the mouse if you want this point uh, more bigger you keep there then that point will be centralized and becoming uh, zooming in and zooming out so that is the center button of the mouse you can that roller will be there no then you rotate it front and back only the position of the cursor only decide which area to be zoomed okay so if you keep it here this area will be zoomed okay and uh, at the time you can rotate it so here also uh, zoom in zoom out option is available you can just click it and uh, uh, every click it will go uh, uh, big and small this is zoom out also is there so better you can use the cursor and uh, you can use the cursor place the cursor and use the roller will be the easy method for zooming in and zooming out and if you want to okay you have uh, some previous uh, zooming uh, view if you want to see you can just click it so use the previous now I just go on here go on here then I want to see the previous I can do like that so this is one is to one that is total uh, uh, total area you take it's uh, one is to one like that because uh, this is a very bigger area of 100 by 700 yes so scale to image pixel is equal to one pixel of the so exact size if you take that 50 mm now I have given 100 mm for 100 mm size this will be the exact size like that is showing so that one is there then also you can fit fit object so total that model space will be fitting in the inside the area and one more option is available that if you select the object you can uh, scale to fit the object only into the screen not the model space object only it will take fit in the screen so this is this is this this all options are available uh, in viewing the uh, uh, 2d objects the vectors next we will uh, look into the selection of vectors so if you want to select the vectors see we can work with uh, both this 2d option and 3d also you can work with there is no restriction generally people work in 3d it's a 3d view itself but 2d will be as it is available there if you want to work with 2d uh, area also view also you can work with the 2d view also so uh, in uh, if you want to select this object now selection of the object has concerned if you want to select the this particular object you can have a if you want to select a single object just he, this is the option here for selection tool so this all already on otherwise we changed it to other option uh, you can ju just click it this the color changing no this is uh, this means we have selected this this single selection after this I select this automatically that goes off I am I am not able to uh, the, the second one got selected so this is uh, single selections if you want multiple multi selection then you can uh, click this and the second object before clicking you have to keep the shift press uh, shift button pressed then click the other one so you will get uh, the other things also got selected and third object is that then again you have to keep the uh, shift button and press it then only you will get selected so like this we can select suppose there is n number of objects so many objects are there vectors are there if you want to select all of that then you can press control a button the shift the select all button will be there. control a if you control button and a uh, letter a if you uh, press it together in the keyboard then all uh, item whatever is in the screen will be selected that is one option and uh, one uh, more option is that that using the boundary box you can select the objects see uh, I keep the cursor here press the left mouse button and drag it you drag it pull it uh, you can create a box like this so if you creating a box from the left side of the object you have to cover full object then only it will get selected okay if I am repeating again if you creating the box from the left side then if you have to create full object then only it will be get selected if you leave it half the way it will not get selected if you want
okay the same way if you creating the box from the right side here that rule uh, rule is not like that if you want to uh, go full you can go full even if it is half some portion is touching it's also it will get selected okay so if you are creating the selection box from the right side of the object the right side in the screen okay uh, from this side it will be a little bit of touching of the box on the object the full object will be selected so this is the selection difference now if you select totally then from the left side if you are creating the i mean our left side from for the object it is right side looking towards us okay so you can see in the screen you can try this both from both sides then you can make out the difference so from this side full will be selected from the opposite side if half the portion or some portion touching itself the whole things will be selected this thing this much or selected this thing just touching it it got selected so this is the different way you can select the objects okay once you create these objects uh, vector objects it's also very important to save it okay so for that what we have to go file save click it okay otherwise you can use the shortcut key that is control s okay or uh, if you want to save this in a separate name not the uh, once you saved it that in between you want to save it in some other name you can save it as save as that in that time it will, it will be asking other uh, name now uh, just saving this it will ask for the some name okay then you can save it this is star.art format you can save it and after some more working if you want to save it in some other name that time you can use save as command save as like that so it will be saved as save as uh, this is this i can do cc so it will be saved in that number so uh, save as you can use it Uh, to save the file in the same file also in a different name also if at the same time it's also you can save it in a different name if you want to i have already saved in one name and i want to make it a one more file and save it in another name you can go for save as okay so that one and uh, after saving if you want to open a particular file then you can go to open and you can open that particular file if i want to open i can open dd also if i made a cc also i can open cc also whatever the file is there already or whatever i have already done before this i want to open that also i can open that also this is just click the file and open that file will be opened so uh, the, uh, this is uh, the files and if you once we done with that we can close the file closing the file it will close and will come this this way okay if then we can start with a new new model the new model thing you can start from here also new model thing and if you want to open an old file you can open the old file from here so the, that way we can continue it so it's very important that whenever you uh, make something uh, on the way as many times you possible you save it because in between some car file or uh, due to shut down or some other problem your valuable data will be missing so uh, make it a habit to uh, control us control us that is in between you to control and s together so it will be automatically saved in the name okay so hope that you understood the basic things to start with okay now we will go to creation of different vectors thank you